Chicago school bus drivers upset with vaccination requirements throw a wrench into the start of the school year. They quit, leaving thousands of kids and parents scrambling to find new ways to get to class. CBS 2's Chris Ty is live right now at Chopin Elementary School on the west side, where the district is working on solutions for an issue likely to stay around a while. Chris. It is likely, Erica. Let's walk you through this. On Friday, the district learned about these resignations. On Saturday, they began notifying families. On Sunday, those families learned they'll be compensated if they're losing their buses. And now today, day one of the school year, was a little rocky. Oh, I didn't see no buses. Emails to parents from CPS apologizing for inconveniences <laughs> just hours before school was set to start. On Friday, 73 contracted CPS bus drivers resigned, leaving 2,100 students without a route. It puts you in a bad predicament as a parent. A major kink on the road to class. We're going to work through these kinks. Among the work throughs, families impacted receiving $1,000 from CPS for the first two weeks of school and $500 the following months to offset transportation costs. Right now, I think we're making this up as we go along. Uh, parents can use it however they choose. Just today, the district began hammering out details with Lyft and Uber, rideshare companies the city partnered with to get residents to vaccination site. But will CPS ensure that minors in those rideshares are chaperoned by bus aides or district adults? You're, you're a little ahead of us, but as soon as we know what the plan is going to be, we'll definitely let you know. I'm hoping that it's going to be a short term problem, but you know, we're also open that it might linger for a while. The city saying the rush of resignations was likely driven by the vaccination requirements, creating new challenges at the start of the new year. Especially for single moms to try to figure it all out. The mayor admitting there could be some more rocky days ahead in the first few days of this school year, and she says that she stands behind the policy that led to these resignations. She says unvaccinated drivers have no business being near young, vulnerable children. Some parents at this school got very emotional on the matter today. You'll hear from them tonight on our news at six. For now, live on the west side, Chris Ty, CBS 2 News.